Good morning from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Wednesday, December 7. Uh, John and I were looking at the framing on the uh, 1946 Brightside U22 yesterday uh, as he was fitting the keel back in place and John pointed out uh, a deficiency in the framing, the bottom framing of the uh, U22 RJ went down to our storage building where we have another 46 U22. It has the same deficiency and I'll simply hand it over to John so that he can give you a little introduction in, in uh, primary frames versus intermediate frames. Take it away John. Okay, on this uh, U22 and on some other boats there are the intermediate frames and then there's the main frames. This is a main frame right here where the bottom frame is connected to a, the frame on the side of the boat. And uh, that gives it quite a bit of structure. But them frames are maybe two feet apart. And in between them frames, there's an intermediate. Now that frame is not hooked to a frame on the side, but it allows a little bit more structure in between the uh, main frames, which are right here and the intermediate frame, therefore when there's a lot of weight when the boat's right side up and it's in the water, and there's a lot of weight on this and then it's going across the waves, uh, there's a lot less give on this section of the boat where there's so much structure right here as to back here where they didn't put the intermediate frames in. They just put the main frames in and uh, they left out the intermediates. And that's directly beneath the engine, yeah. right? We're in the engine bay, right, in these two, two uh, areas, right? Yeah, and the uh, cross members ahead of the engine is a good structural cross member, a brace on the cross member. And then when you get underneath the motor, they have it notched out for the oil pan. So you don't have a lot of uh, strength right there. And then they left out the intermediates. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an intermediate frame in between and I will have to put the bracing across with the notch out for the oil pan, but that's still going to add more strength to it than what it had. And the, and the reason we know that this was the Chris Craft practice in 46 and not some subsequent uh, restorer leaving something out, uh, the build stringers are not notched, correct? Right. Yeah, there's no notch in between. Every one of these has a notch for the frame. And even the intermediate sort of back here has a notch in it. But right in this area, these three bays, one, two, three bays have no notch on the strings. So this one here I'm just going to put in with a notched out frame. This one right here, I'm not really sure what I can do with that, so I'm going to make it a little extra thick, and I'm just going to float it out in the middle, and that'll actually help support the uh, bottom planking, along with the bottom planking being hooked into the keel. But we will drill a hole and bolt it through the keel, right, the way the um, others are? I'm not sure how close I can get to that keel and still have it not be affected because the transmission area is right Oh, here. that's right. So that one might be just floating, but it's going to be supported here well, supported here well, and it's going to be a double thickness. This one back here, I believe we can go right back to having a good frame on it, like that one back there is. So we'll add quite a bit of support to this area of the boat. And the support in this area is particularly critical because this is where the engine's cranking and exerting all of the torque on the uh, on the the hull. Right, and there's no doubt when you're torquing on the engine, the front end is coming up off the water. Right, and the boat putting a lot more extra pressure on the back part of the boat. So even though uh, Chris Craft did not, uh, we've checked with her owner and who agrees completely that we will beef up these three bays uh, when we come to uh, preserving 
the uh, white side U-22, the one uh, planked in Spanish cedar that's down in storage, uh, we will do, we'll treat her the same way. So that's the update on the 46 Brightside U-22 for December 7th. Thank you very much. Goodbye from Snake Mountain Boatworks.